Please make sure the connection is good between the smartphone and Genie Mower. Enter the interface of the app. Press the remote control functions. There are four functions. Press Auto. The Genie Mower will work automatically in this pattern. Welcome to Auto Lawn Mow Robots. In order to satisfy the needs of our customers, we have developed a new Genie software. The Wi-Fi app for the Genie Mowers. This means we can remote control the Genie Mower and certain different functions direct with your smartphone. This function will make your garden grass mowing even more convenient. Select the remote icon on your iPhone or Android and with the Genie Mower app interface menu you can control the Genie Mower with your cell phone. Turn left or turn right. Select home, the Genie Mower will go back to charging station automatically. You can go back to the original interface by pressing switch. Now we are in the original interface and to the function settings. There are eight functions for the Genie Robot Mower. Press address so that we can set the number from 1 to 59. The Genie Mower app has 11 languages. You can choose your language from the language selection. From the range we can choose four modes that is the distance of the Genie Mower to hit the modes you like. For the Genie functions, ultrasonic wave, rain sensor, touch sensor, pressure sensor and a compass. We can choose to turn them on or off with the smartphone. Here we enter the date, week and time settings. We can set the working time of the Genie mower. Let's go back to the original interface and to the working area settings. We can set to six different mowing areas. We can also set the mower working time in different lawn areas. The security password, you can set the four digit password that is easy for you to remember and you can modify the password as per the instructions. Finally, the Genie Lawnmower State Query. You can get the information of the running time, charging time and alarm messages. For any support with your Genie Robot Lawnmower, contact autolawnmow.com today.